Hello, my friend, Stafford Dravi here, and welcome, welcome back. We are going to go back onto the PTCGO. Unfortunately, this weekend we will not be adding Forbidden Light pre releases. Uh, it kind of snuck up on me. I forgot about it and did not register to go to any. And that combined with the one that's closest to me shutting down and not doing it any longer means I'm not going to one uh, for Forbidden Light. But hopefully that allows us to save some money and put it towards getting a booster box as soon as possible. But what I wanted to go over was we're going to go over our Dusk Main trash deck here. But I wanted to show you what you get in that... Um, I also wanted to show you what you get when you buy the tin. That actually gives you a nice theme deck that gives you two Dusk Mains, gives you a full line of Magnazone, Registeel, uh, Nest Ball, two Rare Candies, which is nice, a lot of standard uh, trainers right now, two Ultra Balls, two Mount Coronets, two Cynthias, two Guzmas, and it looks like two Kuhuis maybe, and 15 energy, not that that matters, but, and an Orangaroo, so I think like this is a really good, good 10 to grab if you guys are looking for some of these staples, I would say try to get a hold of this 10, it is good, you can literally make a, a Dusk Main Necrozma deck just off that 10. If you have two, you have just a crazy amount. But, what did we come here for today? We came here for my Dusk Main list. So let's go ahead and expand it. Let all the cards load up. Um, let me just double check something. Make sure I know my count. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, this wasn't sure on the Float Stones. Or the Choice Bands for that matter. I think the Choice Bands are three, right? Yeah, three choice bands. All right, so we're gonna go over what we have. We are starting things off. This is a Duskmane Necrozma GX deck, and by all means, it has the power of a Duskmane Necrozma GX. So Claw Slash does 60 damage. Meteor Tempest is what it's most well known for. It does 220 damage, but you discard three energies from this Pokemon. And then Sun Eclipse GX can knock out anything but you have to be down in prizes so 250 damage for that you can only use attack if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponents and then this has 190 hp and it's a metal type so it's weak to fire resistance to psychic and hits for a butt ton of damage now we are actually only playing two of these um i originally thought i might need three uh, i guess we could technically fit it in instead of heatran but for now, I was only playing two. Um, one of my favorite inclusions is actually this Dusk Main Necrozma from the uh, the lunchbox tin thing that had this Lycan Rock and the uh, Dawn Wings Necrozma in it. And I like this card a lot. Dust Shot, attack the 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon GX or EX. Now this doesn't, it's regardless of where they're located at, so like my favorite thing is, you know, first turn, since you're not going to attack with your your GX is to Dusk Shot a like Tapu Lele or something. And then Rusty Claws could come in handy, I've never gotten to that point, people usually forfeit before I get to that, but this deck I've very little gone 7-0 and o with so far, which is, I mean, it's possible to do it with any deck, but I'm like been really liking it um so we do have one heat trend in here that card is probably replaceable i would say play a card that you like in here you could play a, a third uh dusk main necrozma gx you could play a cobalion from uh steam siege has that really good revenge blast attack does 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken you can put celesteela gx with that ginormous 200 hp basic ultra beast has rocket fall which does uh 30 more damage for each star and your opponent's uh, active pokemon's retreat cost and then does moon press for 130 it also has a really nice uh gx attack of called blaster gx does 180 damage you can turn all your prize cards face up which is kind of nice 
Or I could do the classic standard, what most people do, which was Dialga GX. They play it for that timeless GX attack. It's 150 damage, and you can take another turn. Um, it also has an overclock attack that I've seen people use when they're stuck. You don't want to be using overclock if you can get away with it. That's just three suggestions I have, or four suggestions I have. In case you're not really a Heatran person, discard two energies that do 130 damage. It doesn't hit weakness on a lot of things. It hits weakness on Gardevoir and Glaceon. So against the Glaceon deck, Heatran may be better, but majority of the time you're going to be using your Dusk main Necrozma. It's just a waste of energy. I've also thrown in one Kartana GX for that slice off ability. I like this because uh, you can just you know, throw it down and discard that special energy. And then worst case scenario, you could always Blade GX and just take your last prize card. If you're having trouble getting that last prize card, Blade GX is kind of a great way to get it. Registeel, we are playing three of these bad boys for that turbo armor ability. Obviously, we would um, uh, we would prefer a Sogaleo Prism Star over this, but uh, considering you only play one of those in a deck, Registeel is kind of the go-to. The other option could be to throw in a, uh, a Mew from Fates Collide that has the Memories of Dawn uh, ability. However, there's something that we play later that kind of makes that harder to pull off. Um, I guess if we play three of these, and then we play one Sogaleo Prism Star, of course we wish it could be more, but Radiant Star is just an overpowered attack. You wait for your opponent to load up their bench with a Lele Bridget, and then you just Radiant Star first turn and get a, a uh, Dusk Main Necrozma fully, GX fully set up. And uh, what's even worse is if you can use that attack, the Meteor Tempest, and attack, and then find a way to retreat that Mon into the Sogaleo Prism Star, you can Radiant Star and get, usually you can usually get all those energies back, which is kind of amazing. That's what the Sogaleo Duskbane combo is really all about, and you'll see it in a lot of places. We also play... Uh, two Tapu Leles for that general draw support. We are not going to primarily look for a bridge at first turn, but we're not going to say no to it if it shows up. Um, I think we also play a Lily, so we can have that option to just draw more cards if we need so. And then here is that line I was telling you about. We have two Trubbishes. There's such a lot of trouble. Paired with the Offensive Bomb, Garbotoxin, Garbodor. Everyone pretty much knows what this does, as long as it has a tool poke tool attached to it. And the player, your opponent does not have any abilities, or there is no abilities. Yeah, Pokemon in play, in each player's hands, discard pile have no abilities except for Garbotoxin. Which is pretty sweet, you'll see this as a second in a lot of decks. We're also going to be playing, I think it's three, four Max Elixirs, because we want to be able to get those Metal Energies down as soon as possible one multi stretch just then can come in clutch is say you max elixir something to a basic on the bench you can use multi switch to put it up to the active and be able to hit for some big numbers uh one rescue stretcher to bring back anything we lose i believe it's only one yes it is only one okay uh we have four ultra balls which is pretty standard of most decks Got a couple different arts of it. Uh, Acerola, we have two, or maybe one. We have two Acerolas for that ability. If they cannot knock out the Dusk Main and the Krasma, we just pick it back up and reset it, which is really nice, really, really sweet. We play one Bridget, or uh, Brigetti, as some people call it. Um, two would be nice, but it doesn't seem necessary. Like I said, this is not our primary search for turn one, so we don't necessarily have to play at turn one. If we get it later, we can just always throw it away with an Ultra Ball once we set up Cynthia. I believe we are maxing out on our Cynthia's. Nope, we play three. We play three Cynthia's to be able to have that just consistent draw support. We're playing three Guzmas as well for that consistent let me knock out what I want to knock out. Uh, two ends and four sycamores because we are going to be trying to get through our deck relatively quickly we want to get those max elixirs play them and not miss them we want to get those float stones 
on our Garbodors. We want to get our Garbodors evolved so that we can get the upper hand. I was playing against another Dusk main the other day, and they were playing Metagross, Solgaleo, Dusk main. And I think they had one their Krasma in there too, but they didn't get to play that onto the field. Uh, but I was able to actually beat it with this deck, even though they had way more energy on the field. They were all set up. I was able to just get the Garbodor down with the Floatstone, and that caused their abilities to shut down. So once I knocked out the active, they had no way of setting up their next um, Mon, and they ended up having to forfeit because they did not have a Field Blur left in their deck. Um, we also play three Choice Bands, as I showed before, and four Floatstones because we want to have that Floatstone on Garbodor or anything in the, that gets stuck in the active as soon as possible. And then we finish things off with 4 DCE and 11 Metal Energy. We keep it at 11 to up our probability of hitting them with Max Elixir. Um, so, honestly, I would want to do a match, but this, today has been a long day. Um, I think I'm just going to get this posted. Um, and then we can come in later for that tournament. I've already tested this thing extensively. I know how well it works. The only minor change I might make is Heatran. The reason I have it in there is for that just in case as a uh, attacker. But um, primarily we are sticking with Sogaleo GX, or it's not GX, we're sticking with Sogaleo, that does main Necrozma as our main attacker. Um, oh, we only have two DCs, not four. I don't know what I was thinking. So, I want to thank everybody so much for stopping by. We're still be calling this Dusk Main trash. Unless I find something better like the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe or something like that as, an attack, as a deck name. But uh, we're going to save this up for now. Um, actually, I should export it to the clipboard. There we go. And then save it um, as Dusk Main trash. And uh, we will go ahead and pick that up later. I want to thank everybody for coming out today and showing up. Um, like I said, we'll go over this deck a little bit more intently later. For now, i got to get some sleep. But uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys a lola, and I hope to see you guys later today. Bye-bye.